Multion Agenting Framework. Is this a game changer? Based on my first impression, it is. And I don't want to become one of those YouTubers that says that every new um, release is a game changer or everything is mind blowing or is amazing. But I've been playing around with Multion for just a few minutes and I was very impressed and I decided that in opposing to most of my videos, I would just um, test it out while I'm, I'm recording and I will be excited with you guys regarding the results. My first impression is very good um, and let's see a few more use cases. But before we dive into the use cases and a few steps of in installations, I want to present to you a new evaluation benchmark that I just made up and I'm still looking for a name and um, this is the benchmark it's a uh, I'm waiting for you guys to propose a new name for this ladder basically for every new framework that I'm going to test I'm going to place it on this scale and I'm, on one hand on one end of the scale is I tested it so you don't have to and I have at least one repository from the last few weeks that comes to mind <laughs> that ticks this uh, box and on the other hand on the other end we have the take my money which is basically when we which when i'm going to encounter something that is so mind-blowing that i just want to take to give my money for the developers my first impression to the first automation that I did with Multion was, wow, this is amazing. Where do I sign up? And this is how I came um, with this idea of creating this ladder that uh, I will use in order to provide somewhat benchmarks. This is not scientific, obviously. And if you're looking for um, benchmarks, like really scientific, uh, you probably can find it elsewhere, but this is like a business um, a business related first impression benchmark that I made up is going to be completely subjective um, but still uh, I'm looking for a name now let's go back to Multion so Multion is an agentic framework the installation process is pretty pretty straightforward it's not a github repo you come to the website which is called Multion AI you need to sign up here with your email after a few minutes, you will receive um, an email to your inbox. The email is going to guide you regarding the next steps. Basically, you need to join the Discord. You come to this channel, which is called Beta Request. You provide a request. You fill in a few details about your email, your LinkedIn URL. Why do you want uh, access to the beta, etc.? And I got um, the approval after like five minutes and then you can just basically start messing around with Multion. Now let's see what is Multion. So Multion is a agentic framework for automating stuff and based on my impression it is working very well. Let's just start out. Let's give it um, a first request. Please write, write a Facebook post for me and paste it on my wall. The post should be about leveraging code in marketing initiatives. Now I'm not touching anything. Let's see what happens. Before I did similar tests, it was great. To write a post and post a Facebook to your own for about leveraging code and marketing initiatives, I will follow these steps. And then it says it's going to go to my URL. And as you can see, it is starting to do the automation. No hands. On the right hand side, it opens a chat with what it is doing. And as you can see, I'm not I'm doing clicking anything. on the area where your can create a new post on his Facebook wall. I'm typing the Facebook post about leveraging code in marketing initiatives and then posting it on Yaron's wall. I'm clicking the post button to publish the Facebook post about leveraging code in marketing initiatives on Yaron's wall. And that was it. In today's face, <laughs> it's crazy. 
In today's, in today's fast-paced world, leveraging code and marketing initiatives can be a game changer. It enables personalized customer experience, automates repetitive tasks, and provides valuable insights through data analysis. Marketing tech and innovation. These are the hashtags. This is amazing. I love it. Now let's move on to another use case. Let's close this down. No, let's, I wrote down a few use cases. So download the YouTube video. Let's schedule a meeting. Schedule. A meeting for me for tomorrow at 16. The location should be an Italian restaurant, restaurant in Vake Tbilisi. This is where I live, Vake Tbilisi. This is more uh, challenging, but let's see. So it is planning to use the research of gathering and gathering information technique. Once a restaurant is selected, it's going to use the memorization technique and then it is going to schedule. Let's see what happens. Italian restaurant in Vaca Tbilisi, it found the Italian restaurant and these are actually <laughs> restaurants that the Pomodorissimo is a restaurant that my wife and I like because we go there with our daughter. Now, Karen, which service do you prefer to use for scheduling meetings? For example, Google Calendar, Microsoft Outlook or another service? Google Calendar. Let's write it down. Opening my calendar. It is creating an event. I'm clicking on the create button to start the process of scheduling a new event on Google Calendar for Yaron. I'm clicking on the appointment schedule option to create a new event for the meeting at the Italian restaurant Pomodorissimo in Vacche, Tbilisi for tomorrow at 16 o'clock. I am clicking on the create button to start the process of scheduling a new event on Google Calendar for Yaron. I am clicking on the Create button again to start the process of scheduling a new event on Google Calendar for Yaron. As the previous attempts seem to have not, I am clicking on the Create button to start the process of scheduling a new event on Google Calendar for Yaron. I am clicking on the Create button to initiate the process of scheduling a new event on Google Calendar okay. for Yaron. I am clicking stuck. on the Create button to start the process of scheduling a new event on Google Calendar. Just, okay. Just create the event in a different way since you seem stuck since you seem stuck let's see if it solves this although i'm i still am very happy with what happened so far let's see if it's able to solve this now it is writing it it's writing his it's a chain of thought for some reason it is unable to create let's I am clicking on the create button and waiting for the event details form to appear so that I can create a new event for Yaron's meeting at the Italian restaurant Pomodorissimo in Vaki, Tbilisi for tomorrow at 16 o'clock. Use case. The new, next use case is here. Never mind. We can also speak to it. So never mind. Please order from me for me. From Amazon, the book Black Swan by Nassim Nicholas Taleb. Could you please clarify what you would like to order? Are you referring to food delivery? And if so, from which restaurant or service would you like to order? Okay, as you can see, it is writing down the process of ordering the Black Swan book of Nassim Taleb. It is going to Amazon. Let's see if it searches correctly. Yes, Black Swan, Nassim Nicholas Taleb. Let's see, clicking. This is amazing. This is really amazing. The Black Swan. He says that he's adding the hardcover to my cart. 
he clicked the add to cart button now he's going to proceed to checkout and basically here he's clicking the start my 30 days trial with prime and let's pause him here because i already have this book in my library okay very nice very impressed now summarize a youtube video let's see if it is able to summarize a youtube video let's choose one of my should i choose one of my videos and then seem like a narcissist or something else let's see let's see let's go to naval ravikant naval ravikant how to get rich this is Collects one of every... my favorite uh, podcasts i heard it like a million times it's a uh, full of golden nuggets and food for thought if you guys haven't read this i highly recommend this but now let's see if it's able to summarize it let's see what it does it's planning to summarize the youtube video he's going to go to the url then he's going to read through the information related and available on the video he's going to memorize it and now it will begin collects every episode we've done on getting rich all of it based on his tweet storm of how to get rich without getting lucky i've collected them all here because we're going to switch topics to the new topic of happiness on the I'm next continuing episode. to scroll down the youtube page to locate the video's title description and any available captions or transcripts for summarization oh daily limit reached okay this is probably because i didn't pay yet but i'm definitely going to pay because as i said this falls under the category of take my money as you can see take my money i'm very impressed by this tool this is just the beginning uh, i kind of feel i wouldn't say stupid but i feel i spent so much time on building automations with the rpa tools and clicking the correct uh, uh, elements in the website and uh, using selectors and defining everything and this tool comes out of the box and does such amazing work with regards to the pricing um, and obviously i'm not affiliated with multion or anything like that i think uh, it was 18 or 19 bucks let me see it was 19 bucks per month and unlimited probably billing support let's see if it's here okay yes so this is the pricing free um this was the free one i hit the wall and now i'm going to pay for this because it's it is pretty mind-blowing and 19 bucks fast AI, ai mode unlimited requests per day discord access okay early access to features and priority support um also here if you want there is like documentation regarding uh, how it works not exactly it's not such a detailed documentation but more like with examples and a few more details it's not uh, really a must but i definitely believe that this is a huge leap forward with regards to using agents in production level because you saw, I mean, it was amazing to see how fast it just found. Um, it created the Facebook post for me and just posted it on my Facebook profile. And also uh, the, the, um, the reservation of the Nassim Taleb book it was so streamlined, so fast. It's amazing. I also saw a few examples um, of people scheduling events using the calendar. So I don't know exactly what the bug that it encountered during my demonstration but still um it seems like a very powerful tool i guess that's it for today guys um, i will start concluding so first of all multi on seemed like a very cool and powerful tool definitely a leap forward with regards to agentic frameworks second of all i'm looking for a new name for this ladder 
and um, multi on is going to be right here take my money it's in take my money mode and i'm going to join right after the video so if any of you guys have the uh, ideas for the name please leave them in the comment section obviously if you have feedback about the video about the pace of the video about the content uh, about the quality of sound the quality quality of picture anything please feel free to, sh to share um, I try to optimize and improve every time based on your feedback and so far you have been providing amazing feedback and I really appreciate all the feedback the good and the bad um, that's it if you enjoyed the video obviously like and subscribe and if you can share this video with someone that you think will find it helpful it would be much appreciated highly appreciated much appreciated um, yes that's it i'll see you next time and until next time keep on automating